Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to do your reading for the time you're listening to this through the month of March. So if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Um, also, if you have recently become a member, welcome. Thank you for joining the YouTube House of Virgo gang. And if you want to become a member, there's a join button uh, below the video here. There's a link for $2.99 per month. And you could check out all the good perks and stuff. Now, if I haven't called your name out, I am making these videos early for the week. So I will, if you've joined, I will make a separate video to welcome all of the new members. Okay. And if I didn't say it, yeah, personal reading link is in the description box below. So you've got the chaser Virgo, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. You have the Phoenix, a new phase, rekindling, renewing, transforming growth, change, and photograph. Okay, so let's take a look here and see. So there's definitely an energy of um, someone having a fear of a relationship ending, um, very becoming very codependent, chasing you down. Um, they, have, they have abandonment issue uh, that's currently happening that may not be their baseline, but it's currently happening in March with this person really a great fear of losing you let's take a look and see okay hmm three of cups oh i'm hearing um they're missing your support um did you end something with someone or did you are you moving are you dating are you did you end a relationship and you are dating other people um hmm something's going on here somebody is is they want a reunion with you they don't want to be with other people they're cutting other people off they want to see you so if there was someone i don't know if it's you or another person where there was a lot of flirting and and kind of just having fun with other people um and you know casually dating or just whatever going out with other people three other people perhaps this person with the five of swords is holding the three swords ending something they might have initiated and told other a couple other people they were done they're breaking up maybe it was you and two others but some there's somebody here is chasing you in march okay uh, let's take a look and see oh wow hmm So this person, um, if you ended something with them, they are, they're a little bit hesitant. They're, they're, they're definitely busted up from something that's ended here. If they were um, messing around and you, you found out and you ended that, um, whether you told them or not, they're aware. They, they are at least they think in their mind that that's what happened that you maybe ended something with them because they were just playing the field and that pretty much hmm tore them up a little bit but i mean i'm just hey you know you take the risk what are you gonna do right but i feel like this person if you ended it uh, they, they could have been somebody could have been kind of keeping you on a shelf like you, they like they would come back to you whenever things weren't working out with other people perhaps and like you were always there always available and maybe you were like nope you're not on the shelf you're not going to remain available for this person to dip back in and out and they are like lost without you i feel and yeah, so uh, Virgo, the energy, you might be feeling this already as you're listening to this, or it could be coming up. This person is like, shit, they're definitely coming up. They're definitely going to be chasing after you. Okay. Yeah. You're going to hear from them. You are. Now that doesn't mean you should get back with them, but you, you're good. You're definitely going to hear from this person. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're going to. Virgo, listen, I don't know who this is, but, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but I feel like this person is chasing after you to put you back on the shelf. So be mindful. <laughs> Just be mindful in 
March that they think you're replaceable. If they can't get you back on the shelf, they, you know, along with some others, they're going to try, but you are irreplaceable. Okay. So, uh, you don't belong. Nobody, nobody, nobody puts baby in a corner, y'all. <laughs> no, nobody puts baby on the shelf. So, uh, yeah. So there's definitely this whole, okay. I'm broke, busted, and disgusted. Uh, like, I don't know, Virgo, they got you on some kind of pedestal here. Oh, they're coming in like a fool. I'm watching you. There's going to be communication. Yeah. So I don't really like the energy that I'm feeling here with this person who's a chaser. I don't think because they're chasing with this codependent energy where it's like very manipulative. Codependency could be very manipulative. And I feel like this person, um, they might have let you go. Um, and they're and, and that's okay because they maybe had others on the shelf there or other people that they were communicating with or connecting with. But you know what? You're the, you're the, the brightest object in the room. But I, I, I quote the word object. And I feel like um, they let you go long enough. They give you some, some rope. They give you some rope to just kind of make you think that you're getting away and that you're free. But then they'll try to reel you back in. You know, ah, Virgo. Big shit vibes here let me just like what no 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 no. if you feel this way Virgo like you're being like an elf on a shelf kind of stuff going on maybe even since the holidays no set yourself free um cut the rope cut the cord now, somebody might have a rope on you but it doesn't mean you can't get the scissors so here's the phoenix and what does that tell you here new phase renew transformation growth changing your mind so I, it feels to me like you're you're rising above here with the phoenix. Um, wow, I'm getting some real strong ballage to get yourself like no 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 getting some courage. You know the the king of wands. This could be an Aries um, or someone who's Mars ruled, but this king of wands energy is like I'm the leader. I'm the leader. I lead. I don't follow. So I think you're going to be kind of rising above something here with some courage and um, ambition. Like you, it feels like there's ambition to rise above. Yeah, after a defeat. Virgo, you got this energy of like, it feels like, you know, I may have lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. Like you're still in a fight, maybe even for survival. But you have like... Um, this phoenix energy which is you know it's kind of like yeah let me just rise like burn the shit burn the house down rising up the flames getting yourself like okay yeah i may be defeated but i'm not done <laughs> i might be def feel defeated at this moment but i will rise i will rise above this okay so right there um, they just gave me the word tabernacle so right here with temperance it feels like the angels are like saying to you you know rise above it rise above it don't allow yourself to be put in somebody's pocket or to be put on the shelf or to just be don't give yourself an opportunity for someone to have access to you whenever they feel like it it doesn't uh, if they're manipulating and they're purposely objectifying you they, they really shouldn't have access to you and they can go objectify other people so you're you know you could be on the cusp of leo and virgo you might be activating your leo energy within you um you could have leo in your chart somewhere um we have sagittarius here showing up so let me see there could be somebody else after um you refuse to be put on a shelf somebody else could be showing up after this ending some kind of yeah god there you go hmm i feel like this brings us back to um sunday night's reading where it's kind of like you know what i can do better than this and somebody comes in it could be a fire sign um you maybe you tell them about your past history with someone and um how it was just very codependency is the equivalent of manipulation it's just another word it could be a narc um, and how it was just abusive and wasn't good 
and you have a talk with someone and and you know they take a look at it and they're like they're in agreement but at the same time like there's a little crush energy happening there's a good communication someone brings that beautiful cup of love or just basically asks you if you want to go get a drink or they offer you a little drink or something let me see here but it's it, it feels like fire that phoenix somebody might drive like a, a firebird or, or a camaro one of those cars you know those sporty maybe even a corvette let me see oh wow there's healing absolutely i love the star aquarius energy there's healing that's coming here somebody's got like looks at you like you are too good for that you are too good for something are too good to be stuck in, in the past energy. And I feel like there's a lot of communication and a lot of love and, and a very positive energy coming from someone here as you begin to rise or they help you rise from a very negative situation um, that you may have been in or that you are coming out of or making a decision that, or maybe that you've already left and somebody starts chasing you, Virgo. Okay. Or you could have left a long time ago and here they come back again okay let's see what do you have going on here with photographs looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories so it's that chaser who is obsessed with you obsessed with putting you back where you belong yikes gemini perhaps for some could be a water sign just constantly looking at your feelings and feeling they get feelings they get like feelings from looking at your photos they're doing it like in private <laughs> okay whatever go do your weird stuff mm. they're trying to manifest you through through photographs photographs pictures of you um or in their mind i'm just seeing an autograph Trying to create new memories out of a photo? Just, what the heck is going on there? King of Swords. Hello, King of Swords. Could be another Virgo, but yeah. Air energy. Hmm. This person, like, so when they're at work, if they work in communications or... They, you know, some type of work where they have to communicate with people, whatever their situation is for their career, um, they're doing this at their work, I'm hearing, <laughs> or when they're working. Yeah, so there, there's a little bit of secret. This person, I, I guess I'm just revealing a secret about somebody here who's like obsessing over you, and they're not, they're, they're, so I don't know if they're in another relationship. They might have another relationship, but their other person doesn't know that they're when they're away from them, like they do it at work. They just keep saying they hide their activities at work from another person. Okay, whatever. Just go be your weird self. I hope that that this person isn't like married or has another significant other because that's not going to be healthy for you but there is i do kind of get that feeling you know but then again it's just like they cut that person off and then they tend to you and they chase after you it's a little bit of like a double standard happening here it's a little bit of like you can't do what they're doing but they can do what they want it that's kind of what it feels like mm. this person might say like let you know that they're um, leaving they're starting their life over they want to be with you but with the moon here it's it's hard to confirm that king of cups energy there's a lot of players showing up here so you'll be a water sign air sign earth sign or um fire sign so whoever your person is or whatever's going on somebody here is obsessed with your photos and and even with the page of swords over there they're watching you i just don't like it <laughs> i just i don't like it Okay, so what's going to come out here is your intuition is going to just expose the fact that this person is a bit sneaky. Okay, so whatever. Like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to is like, no, I already know that. Okay, Capricorn energy, Leo there, Pisces, whatever their sign is, um, they're obsessed with your photos. They're obsessed with, 
I, they're just giving me that cure song pictures of you they're obsessed with the pictures okay new love a new love a recommitment to love is developing so i do feel oh yeah so somebody's gonna come in and try to apologize to you um I, why because you know oh i'm sorry for putting you on a shelf but then it's like but why are you apologizing so that i will let you do it again you know what i mean like it, it doesn't feel like a it's like a, a real genuine apology because a real genuine apology isn't just words it comes with action behind it otherwise it's just manipulation and i kind of feel like that's somebody like here you're setting boundaries you you have some kind of awakening here about this person or what you're dealing with you don't i don't feel like virgo you want to develop a new thing with this person or recommit to anything with them uh, they're, they're just very insecure, yet your intuition is telling you. You already know, Virgo. You already know. Or you, at least you come to know. Okay. The situation affects your work, Virgo. Your finances, your career. It's affecting your work, which is not good. If, it, if it's a relationship that isn't making your job better, but it's making it worse or harder to do your work, then this is not the this is not right for you. That's what I feel. It's not right for you. Let me see. Okay. Does this situation align with your values and your morals? Does this relationship with this person align with your belief system, your values, your morals? Does this person align with you? Are they, do they, you know, are they like, no, cheating's bad. And then they cheat. Do they do that? No, lying's bad. Don't ever lie to me. But then they lie to you. Like, is it all in alignment? Are you two, you know what I mean? There's interference, an external party. So this person, for some of you, I know this is specific, but for some of you, they may already have somebody and you're aware of that. But for some reason, they're still chasing after you. Um, so there's just, I feel like it's kind of a little bit of Sunday's reading. There's this cake and like this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. Like almost like if you're a female that you're like the mother, you're like the mothership. You're like the mothership and they're like this tiny little sphere UFO and alien and they go out and they explore, but then they always got to keep coming back to you, the mothership. You know what I mean? Even though they have a significant other, which I feel like is the case, that significant other is is doesn't hold the value you have. Why? Because you're you're more you're you're the mothership. <laughs> you're more valuable. Do you know what I mean? And that's why they're chasing you. Because they can't really have you. Because they're not in alignment with you. You know? And and I don't know, it's bizarre. I, I, I just gotta say this is this is bizarre. Let me see what the Chinese sign is of this person. I don't know i just feel like they're obsessed it's codependency truly they live through you uh, you uh, i don't know you, you are the reason you remember that song the reason I forget the name of that band but okay year of the goat year of the pig damn roosters showing up in like every reading um year of the horse Year of the snake. Remember that snake video? Don't cuddle snakes. Go back and listen to that. Year of the dragon. Year of the tiger. This could be you. It could be them. And year of the monkey. Whoa. Okay. All right, Virgo. Let's take a look and see. Can we get some initials here? Oh, we got a whole, whole bunch of charms I just picked up. All right. So we'll look at them in a second. So the letter R letter v letter o someone's name is rodney um double d somebody has two d's in their name daddy hey daddy um we have the letter e roger we have a g um oh boy letter i and the letter y August 26, whoops, 19, oh, no, 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 sorry. Well, first I saw 1991. Now I'm seeing September 16th, and then I saw the 15th, September 11th. 
Did I say R? Okay. 1988, letter H, August 31st. Shout out to the mods for their excellent work here every single night. The letter S, Shay. Just heard Shay. Um, I heard Eddie. Someone thinks, someone has a God complex. The heck? Um, Roddy or Rod, Rodney? I'm just... I know I said Rodney already. Now I'm hearing like Roddy. Um, Devin. Okay. Uh, Roy. Someone drinks soy milk. Or is into soy. Or a soy boy. I just heard soy boy. <laughs> uh, Gary. Somebody says, oh, you're a sod, S-O-D, sod. Did I say September 4th? I got September 4th. Okay, someone's in Texas. Someone is 41, 1983, 1988. Uh, somebody's phone number, 8883. Um, someone lives on Delilah Street. They just said Delilah Street. Or Dandelion Street. I can't make it out 100%. Delilah or Dandelion Street. Um, <clears throat> I heard Sh Shanoma. Shanoma. Just heard Shanoma. And uh, Rochester. Hawaii. And Virginia. Delaware. Uh, did I say Texas? Yeah, I said Texas. Uh, Seattle just heard Seattle okay August 23rd and April someone's connected to an April birth date and yeah September 4th oh and someone is 52 years of age okay as far as the charms we have a dolphin you have a heart two hearts uh, Paris and a saw okay yeah, that's definitely a saw. Okay, so uh, somebody, uh, so they just gave me um, a deck of cards, like playing cards. If somebody does something with playing cards, maybe you're playing with them right now, or you were, or you will be, um, or you work in an industry that uses a deck of cards, like a casino or a dealer or something like that. Um, also have the dolphin, and immediately they just told me, um, the Miami Dolphins. So maybe there's an attachment to that team or something connected to football or Miami, Florida. And you also have the Eiffel Tower, which immediately told me Paris. Somebody's name could be Paris or someone's from France. Or um, this is symbolic for, um, it makes me feel like something is significant. The, the, this uh, you uh, so I was using the word significant other a lot in the reading and I do feel like there is a significant other but that you would be more significant than that other person and this saw does give me a sense now that's a special kind of saw um, it's got a very thin blade it's not like a big um, gigantic saw like we saw in yesterday's reading this is a very this is for slowly, but this, uh, they're telling, okay. They're giving me the word precision. That's all I'm hearing. So I don't know if that's the name, like a precision saw. Something, something with the word precision. It could be the name of a company. Um, something to do with precision, like maybe surgery, surgical procedures. Yuck, <laughs> the big saw. Maybe you had a surgical procedure where it required sawing into a bone or so I, I, i'm not saying that's going to happen i mean i guess it could but i'm not predicting that but something to do with sawing okay um let me see if i can figure out what the uh, sign is of this person that you're this chaser I'll give you more insight gemini capricorn pisces double gemini there 
Oh, somebody has a tattoo of two hearts entwined. Uh, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. If we get doubles, then that, doubles or triples, then that's significant. And Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, you guys, so short and sweet. I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that gives you a little insight here. Just basically the message is that someone's going to be chasing after you. They can't let you go. They don't want you to go. They don't want you to leave. They're not happy where they are. I just heard the name Jason. And uh, they, oh, now they're telling me Dottie. They're not happy where they are. Um, Victor, Vic Virginia. Oh, and now they're giving me the initial J, South Jersey. But somebody is very unhappy with where they are in their life. They can't let you go, but they're not ready to make a change in their own life. You're rising above it. You also have somebody who could be showing up in the month of March, bringing that love. But it is what it is, right? So if you want to get a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Thanks again for joining, becoming a member. If you want to become a member, link is in the description box. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.